Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 80 freaking 7 of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And just so you know, my recording session timer right now is up to an hour and a half. Seriously, I've been going for that long. Wow. So this is going to be the last episode of this recording session, otherwise stuff might happen. I don't know, stuff probably already has happened that I can't see because the preview window is off. It's already lagged out probably. Anyways, um, basically, yep, this is another silver rupee challenge. And you need, I like putting on the hover boots in this room. I think you actually need them to make some of these jumps. Or like stuff. And by the way, oh yeah, Navi turns green there. That means play not the Scarecrow song, the Song of Time. Because she's green in midair, which means there must be a Song of Time block there. There must be. Or else my name is not Thomas Hinglebottom, which it's not. So it doesn't really matter either way. I'm glad that they're there. But you really need that so that you don't make the same mistake that Nintendo Capri Sun did by pressing the switch, not thinking that it does anything, and then not, and then realizing way later on that it does do something. It eliminates the fire trap around this rupee. The final rupee. Yep, I've... Aw, oh man, sort. Like, if you're... <laughs> whatever. He, he just, like, struggled so much on that, and... He like couldn't figure it out. He was like on that on this puzzle for so long in this room. It was redonkulous, man. Um, oh, collect the underwater gems. So you're gonna need your Zora's tunic here, which I always wear, thankfully. And oh, uh, Song of Time Time again. Song of Time Time. Yes, yeah, Song of Timmy Timmy Time Time. Timmy Timmy Time Time. Chimmy Chimmy Changa. Oh yeah, nice camera angle. And let us sink to the bottom of the well. Except not. We're not in Kakariko, Kakariko, whatever you want to call it. Yep, and this is going to be reminiscent of a water temple-esque room, because, ow. Especially since these oyster butts here. Or clam butts, or whatever. Die, 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 fucking... Fucking freaking clam. Hey, what are you doing? God damn it. I have two on me at once, man. Two on me at once. Two times in a row, man. Try to drink water and drips down the left side of my face. Yes, I just quoted him, but it's not a direct quote since he doesn't say it that blandly. Alright. Um, die. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for playing my game. Yep, so basically, to get the silver rupees in this room, you're going to have to be take periodically taking off your iron boots and putting them back on again. Very res reminiscent of the water temple, yet again. And yep, this is also like that whirlpool room in the water temple. So yeah, it has a current like that. Anyways, let's fall, we're probably going to land right on top of that freaking thing. Well, close enough, I guess. And I think we can hookshot to pretty much every other rupee that's left. This is n this is probably my least favorite trial in this area. Thankfully, it is for a small key, so like that would be ridiculous if it wasn't. Um, I think I might actually be able to make make this work here if I just line this up correctly. Let's try that. Yay! Awesome. And now we can get out of this hellhole. Why couldn't I take? A Why couldn't I pause? That was retarded. I'm not having a seizure, people. I just had spit in my mouth. I'm sure that really that's really nice that you probably really wanted to know that. Okay. And chest. Get. Small key. Oh yeah. The last small key of the water temple. Booyah. But not the last small key of the Gerudo training ground. Dude. Well thanks for not knocking me in the lava at least. I appreciate it. Anyways, um, yep, we're gonna go over here now. This is an another area we haven't been. There's a lot of places in this place. Uh-oh, defeat all the enemies in the limited time. Oh no! We're gonna put our normal boots, normal boots, and get up some bombs. Alright, you can die. I said you can die. I said you can die. Dude, I freaking spin attacked you. Why don't you just die? I said, Dude, oh my god. These guys are murdering me. I need a fair right about now. There we go. And you can die too. Thank you. Freaking bee moss. Bee moss. Bombs. Watch it go boom. 
Oh, five minutes. Small key, yet. Yes. So there should be two more in this place, I guess. Um, you can go get those hearts if you want. And by the way, the other door that doesn't, that we didn't come through, um, this one, it leads out to the main room. So, yep. Actually, while I'm here, I, could sh I should show this off. I'm over here, Navi turns green, go over here, play the Song of Storms. Yep, just trust me on this one. It's not a scarecrow, not a song of time block, it's it's this. It is a big fairy. Yay. How awesome. And yeah. So let's just go back now, go get our last few small keys, and we'll be able to complete this place. So I guess this is just gonna be a shorter episode. Rather. You know, like one of those retro ten minute LP ep video episodes. Yep, so retro now, isn't it? It's like two, it's like, what, two week old time limit now? Jeez. Okay, so up here, this is the last area that we haven't been yet, looks like, and look, just a small key waiting on a silver bladder. Metaphorically, that is. Mm, take off these freaking boots, freaking bunny slippers, man. And okay, here is the room that you will need all your small keys in. There's actually quite a few chests in here, none of which contain small keys, by the way. Um, yep, they all just contain random treasures like arrows and bombs and stuff like that. Maybe bomb shoes, I don't know. But yeah, if you desire to acquire a hidden treasure, you must strive to obtain the keys hidden in each chamber. Yes. And I still, even though I only have eight keys right now, and it seems really at the very end, I stand by my statement that there are nine keys in this place. So let's consume one of them. But I do not stand by my seat in that you can have all nine at one time. Okay, consume another. And I think right here, maybe, if we climb up here. Nope, not here. I'm thinking of another area. Okay, consume our third key. Third key. Okay, this has to be right here. Yep, if you use the lens of truth, you'll see that there's a hole in the ceiling. Oh my god. And that leads to here, where there is. Bum, bum, bum. Surprise, surprise. Small key. That's right. I think you can actually miss one small key, maybe two, I'm not sure. By like going into the main room and going into the center door or something. I don't know. I don't know how that works. You can figure it out for yourself. All I know is that this strategy works. Okay. Just keep on working your way through, picking up the treasures, opening keys. Just like clockwork. Unless you miss a key, like Nintendo Capri Sun. Mentioning him so much in this episode. Okay, just, there's three more keys that we have, and, well, not two more keys and two more locked doors. Awesome. So, it fits. Oh, by the way, you can't warp out of this place. We're gonna have to work our way out of here manually. Yep. Alright. And we have arrived here. And what will this be? The dungeon map? The compass? No, because this isn't a dungeon, officially. It is the ice arrow, yes, in contrast to the fire arrow, I guess. Ah, oh, gotta get comfortable here, but yeah, I've never actually used this item before, believe it or not. You don't, there's like no real practical use for this item, you just use it randomly. I'll probably use it in the spear temple at some point, just to see what it's like. And looks like we are done with this side quest. This random side quest for a very, very cool item. No pun intended. But just by saying that, I insinuate that there's a pun there, and that it might have been intended, and I might say that it's not intended, but it pro it probably was, even though it le le legitimately wasn't in this case. And we will leave via this door. Yep, see, you can enter, like, the middle, or, like, past two locked doors in this maze through that door. And that's kind of what I was talking about. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. You may have noticed it. And be like, don't forget that, Argon. Don't forget to hit this thing. Because I forget completely what it does. Um, where did that fall? Right here. Cool. That is... Blue Rupee Gur. And... Yep, I saw... I guess two chests fell. Whatever. And arrows. Awesome. And we can leave now. Yay. 
We are done with the Gerudo training ground. So let's let's go to the Desert Colossus now, and that is where we will end off our video. Yes, and our re recording session, which is up to about an hour and forty minutes now. Dear God. And what do we get out of this? Like five episodes, six episodes. I'll be set for the week, I guess. Alright, so let's go to the entrance of the spirit temple so that when we save and quit them, we'll just restart there. And, yep. So, I guess this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. My voice is getting tired now. Yep, so thanks everyone for watching. On the next episode, we'll start on the final temple. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.